Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Supergeek and today I'm going to tell you about how you can install the Google camera app on your Xiaomi Mi A3. The Mi A3 comes with a triple camera setup at the back which includes a 48 megapixel sensor which can take some really amazing pictures with great detail and clarity. Since the 4D is not released globally, there are no Google camera port available right now. But I found a Google camera version which is perfectly working on Xiaomi Mi A3 and today I'm going to tell you how you can install it on your Xiaomi Mi A3. Stay tuned. Well, there's nothing much to do really. Just download the Google camera APK from the link in the description and install it just like any other APK on your smartphone. But make sure not to open the app right away. Clear the app data before launching the app for the first time. This will reset the app for the first use so you can set your own different settings according to your Xiaomi smartphone. So the Google camera UI is pretty basic. It's just like the Pixel devices. There's your viewfinder. You can go to portrait mode. You can enable or disable the face retouching which is basically the beauty mode from Google. Then you can go to panorama mode. It's working perfectly fine. You can enable disable audio. Then you can capture videos. You can change the frame rate from the top 30 or 60. Then you can go to more. Then there is this night side, the really popular night side mode. It can take really awesome pictures in low light conditions. Then let's go to settings. You can enable disable save location. You can go to gestures. You can go to F1 mod setting. These are all the mod settings which are not available in the Pixel camera app. Then you could go to advanced. You can store videos efficiently. You can disable that. You can enable disable video stabilization. You can change the video resolution. So there you go guys. Now you know how you can install the Google camera app on your Xiaomi Mi A3 and take better pictures than the stock camera app. I'm also going to throw in some camera samples taken from the Google camera app and the stock camera app simultaneously so you would know how the camera differs from the stock camera app. So that's it for now guys, hope you liked the video, hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.